Most of these guys are here to uh, pick up the tank with the truck. And the truck. So we're just going to load that on there and get it ready for delivery. <laughs> so here they are, they're just rolling it into position. It's really not heavy, but you can see there's a, there's a cap right here. And so they want to be careful with that. But uh, I'm just going to lift this up and set it on the truck. There we go. I, I managed to jump out just in time before the tank tipped over to where I was standing. <laughs> Probably would help if I understood Luganda. So they're just rotating it so the tap is on top. But uh, really, not a complicated process. Tank number one. Hello, hello. Hey. <laughs> All right, we're in Jinja, and uh, these are, these children here are going to be the beneficiaries of this first tank. They have a school, and here it is. We saw it put on the truck yesterday, and now we're here. This is the location where we're going to be seeing it installed. This is the here we have the base, and uh, it's it's still curing. So it's going to take a couple days for the uh, for the concrete to cure, so it's it's good and strong, and uh, and then they're going to just lift this tank on there, and they will uh, install gutters. You can see even now, right there in the corner, uh, where the gutter will feed out into the tank. We are the red dots on. We're rolling. Hi, we're here in Jinja, and I'm with uh, Pastor Frederick Maka, and he's the pastor here at this church, and they also have a school, correct? Mm -hmm. You have a nursery school just here. You have a nursery school here, and, and, and this is the location where the first tank for the Ugandan water project is going to be installed. And Pastor, I just want to say we're so excited to be able to help you. Can you just tell me a little bit about what this tank will mean for you and your community? All of this tank is gonna be a great help in this community. Yeah. Because the water is quite expensive here. Mm -hmm. The national water and the sewage corporation is uh, quite expensive for us. Yeah. We have to buy a liter of uh, uh, a jerry can of water, right. 20 liters, for 100 shillings. Yeah. And you know, a family which is uh, of a good size, you you need about 
five jerry cans to ten jerry cans a day. That is yeah. almost one thousand shillings a day. And how far do they have to go to get that? Mm, in in the community there is uh, there are some taps around, mm -hmm. but you have to pay to pay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so this will this also help prevent disease? Oh yeah. 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 Because if you don't go for our water from the tap, you have to get it in a, a nearby swamp. In a swamp? Yes. And the water is not healthy. And then they get sick. Yes, they get sick. They get diarrhea. They get bilharzia. So people that you know have been sick. Oh yeah. Even in the family. Yeah, even in the community. And if I, I hate to ask this bluntly, but have you had people in your community die because of sickness with water? Oh, several. Yeah. The area has killed many. Yeah. Bilharzia has killed many. Well, we are so excited to, to be able to be part of God's provision for you. Uh, and to see a difference made in your community. We are grateful. Thank you for being such a great blessing to us. Well, thank you. Thank you for thinking about us. George Samba and his Maka Frederick. Uh, we are the recipients of the tank that has come from the Malando family. Yeah. We are saying thank, thank you very you. much for the blessing. Yes. May God multiply. Bless you. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah.